Hi, I'm Trevor Clark. I'm a Faraday motion enthusiast and I built my spine last month and I've been enjoying riding it around ever since. I am a longtime developer, 3D animator, and I guess maker. <laughs> in high school, the year that the Segway came out, I built one of those in my robotics class. So that's, that's what I like doing and that's what I'm passionate about. You know, projects beyond small things. I wanted something real. So then you guys got me in and I started printing the pieces. I brought it in at the end and they finally were like, man, this is really cool. For me, it's actually connecting with other makers and showing them that 3D printing is a reality in not just small things anymore. It's for actual things that can transport you or do something um, specialized that we weren't able to do before. If I can inspire someone else because I built something they didn't know was possible before, that's probably the best outcome that I can think of. my printer. <laughs> I'm not quite satisfied with its performance. I had to get used to different settings and most of the time I would get, you know, 80% success rate with my prints, um, which meant that some of the prints for this project that were longer, like 12 hours roughly, those ones I had to redo. Adding more of the H2 upgrades, which would be like the wings to make the platform wider for maneuverability. I think the, the coolest thing you can do is actually have a s sort of network of other board riders. Um, not just to be like, hey, here's how fast I go, or, you know, I, I did this trip today, but also like if you wanted to have a collection of other people together. I think right now I'm the only one in my area that has one of these boards. How much money it's going to take for the print and how much quantity of film that you need. But I guess on the material side, it wasn't, I wasn't totally sure how much it would take. Some of the people that rode didn't think the, the phone app was as easy to use, I guess. Mm. So they, some of them preferred the app. They were like, okay, it's cool. I like it. The other people were like, I wish you had the nunchuck so that I could just do trigger because I'm used to RC driving back in the day when I was younger. I wish I could do that same you know, trigger yeah. movement. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a mixed reaction on that one. So it makes sense that you guys support both. This one's 3D printable, which is awesome. But most of the other ones are about twice, if not three times more expensive, um, which to me was kind of interesting because a lot of these parts you can buy fairly cheaply. I mean, from from the kit that you guys gave to me, it's it seems like it's material cost versus if I bought this production board, it seems like I'm paying for some marked up margin that they're trying to achieve. Absolutely. The documentation was really great. That's one thing that's hard to get right. I mostly talk about how cool you guys are. You guys have an awesome vision explaining how the printing process works and then also what this means for the future. Like mm -hmm. this is some piece that I can inspire them with and saying I I'm printing this electric board which means if I'm in an urban area which I am I can drive around with this board and I can commute with it definitely to inspire people um, and actually get people started but if they see it in action they see all these resources available to them much better mindset for them to go ahead and jump into it I think for the most part, it's pretty good. The main thing I would change is make the wires fully enclosed. Um, if there was a way to route things differently so that maybe it was a connection and then a little panel to close, close off the connection um, and then add a kill switch, something of that nature. So just to keep it a little bit more safe for people 